This is Call of Duty Mobile on my Razer Phone 2. And this is an Xbox One controller. If you guys didn't guess so already, yes, I'm going to be trying my best to go and drop a nuke on Call of Duty Mobile with an Xbox One controller. It should be a lot of fun today, but before we get right into everything, I just quickly want to talk about today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. At this point, you've probably heard a lot about Raid from some of your favorite YouTubers, but there's a good reason why. Firstly, Raid Shadow Legends is the best free-to-play mobile RPG for both iOS and Android devices. And don't take my word for it, just ask one of the 15 million players worldwide who have downloaded this game in the past six months. Raid has this insane epic champion called Lightswarm, who is a defense champion from the Sacred Order faction. You can boost Lightswarm's speed in order for him to use his skill 1 more often and completely shut down his enemies with his speed manipulation. Or you can boost his accuracy to the max level so he can be able to apply the debuffs from his skill 2 ability. And just look at all the amazing ratings he's getting from all the other players. And most importantly, don't forget to earn your extra rewards here. With having amazing graphics, an intriguing storyline, and just so much customization, it's no surprise that Raid is one of the top 3 ranked RPGs on the Google Play Store. And it's just been nominated as a finalist for Google Play's Best of 2019 User's Choice award. So be sure to check out the description of this video, click on the link that corresponds to the device you're currently using, and download Raid Shadow Legends. For all new players, you'll automatically get 100,000 free silver and the epic champion Lightsworn added to your account just by downloading the game. The thing is though, this package will only last for the next 30 days. So be sure to go in the description down below and download Raid. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, I have the whole controller cam going going on. I have my phone on a stand right here that's going to be kind of directly in front of me. I kind of want it to be as close to me as it possibly can so I can fully see the screen. But yeah, man, we might as well go and hop into a game here for the very first time. It's going to be a domination on Nuketown. And surprisingly enough, this is going to be my first ever full game with using a controller here so i'm gonna be hoping for the best man who knows maybe i'm gonna go and stop using my two thumbs here and then only use a controller from this point moving forward i guess we'll have to go and find out here wow so oh dude right off the bat i'm not gonna lie i know a lot of people's complaints when i was asking people what they thought about controller support on my live stream a lot of people were saying that the input was weird but dude, it, it didn't feel bad there here. And also I'm gonna go type 25, but in terms of ADSing and going into your scope there, yeah, man, I'd say that's like pretty responsive, you know, not too shabby whatsoever. Like, I don't know if any of those guys used controller support when it first dropped on COD Mobile and oh God. But yeah, it was horrible. Ooh, there we go. Got a first kill going in. I'm not gonna lie with you guys. It definitely doesn't feel like console just yet. Oh God. Maybe if I do some additional tweaks to my settings, because I haven't tweaked out everything fully just yet, but maybe if I do all my additional, oh God, <laughs> oh no. Maybe if I fully set everything up, maybe it should be a little bit better here. Oh, what's my, what's my grenade? Oh, here we go. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Oh, got a guy over here. Will my grenade even kill anyone? No, okay. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. This feels so weird. Oh God. Like, maybe after a while of me playing like this, I might get better, but so far, this does not feel good in the slightest, man. I, I don't know. It's just, maybe if your only option is to go and use a controller to play this game, then maybe this might be for you, but I think at this point, I would just rather still continue to use my thumbs. Okay, here, Predator Missile coming in hot. Oh, get that double. How do I, how do I like make it go fast? Oh, X. And <laughs> that did nothing. Nice. Okay, we'll toss up a UAV here. Oh, I almost have my specialist rocking in two. There's like two guys over here. I got one of them. Oh, I'm completely out of ammo. Okay. Uh, please die. C can you, can you please die or one of you guys die? Okay, so we're going to go and use our sparrow class. We're calling this in. I'm really interested to go and see what the movement of this is going to be like. But I'm not going to lie though, this is a really cool experience, man. Like being able to go, because I'd have to imagine controller support is only going to get better from this point moving forward. 
Oh gosh. So if they can make this at least, I don't know, 20% better. Yeah, dude, for sure. Like controller support will probably eventually be a really smooth experience in here. We'll call in the UAV. Oh God. Oh, no, no. Dude, I thought they were both behind me on the stairs there, but there is one guy that's like right over here. There we go. One of my main goals for this video is going to be to try to go and drop a nuke. I know I'm probably going up against other people who've been using a controller ever since it dropped here. So I'm probably going to be at a slight disadvantage. But nevertheless, man, I am... Oh! I'm totally down to try to go and drop a nuke. I'm not going to lie. Like, maybe after two more games, I'll probably be able to get the, get the hang of everything. Oh, and the slide mechanic. I forgot about it. Ooh, give me that double. Oh, we already got a veto? Okay, you know what? I'm going to call that in right now. I know the game is just about to go and end. So let's try to see how many kills we can go and get with this. Dude, this is insane. How do I rotate? Oh, X. Okay, X to rotate. Awesome, awesome. Dude, this is so insane. How do I do the double boost? Oh, LB. Nice, nice. Wow, for my very first game here, we go and, and we drop a Beetle Warship, ladies and gentlemen. Don't mind if I do. Yo, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, be sure to go and give it a like. That would be awesome. But let's hop into another game here, man. I, I feel like I'm starting to understand everything with the controller and the movements and everything like that. So here we are. We're going to continue playing Domination, but I'm going to go and try my best to... Uh, Drop a tactical nuke here on a firing range. And usually people will go right to B right away or maybe not. Oh, here we go. And then you can just shoot through this wall. Oh, I got one hit. Oh, nice. Dude, that's probably one of my favorite things to go and do is just get wall bangs like that. Oh, shoot. Okay. I saw the guy up top there. I think some enemies might be rotating off in this direction. Now, I'm not going to lie. I did tweak some settings. Oh, Oh, okay, <laughs> I'll take that. Wow, I did not expect there to be three guys there, but we'll plan on tossing up a UAV. I have no idea. Oh, dude, they're still rotating over here. Oh, no. There's going to be like two guys. Oh, no. I'm going to continue shooting. Okay, there's still a guy on A. Oh, is he going to push? Oh, nice. Oh, we lost it though. Okay, and I know that there's for sure one more guy coming off over here. Nice. I think I'll just plan on holding this down. I know for a fact. I'm just going to continue pre-firing. There we go. Okay. Dude, I might be able to do it. This might be the game in which I go and drop a nuke. Now, the unfortunate thing is that I don't think your specialist will count towards you getting a nuke. Oh, I got that beetle. Okay. I don't know whether or not to rush around or play this a little bit more tactical here. I was doing pretty good with just holding down. This. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think there might be three guys. Oh, no. Yeah, there's definitely like three guys off in this area here. Oh, no. I almost got that. And I think there might be one guy. Oh. Woo! Dude, how did I dodge that? Okay. He's going to be up here still, though. Oh, I think I hear a guy like right below me. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Whoa, what? Hold up. What? I have no idea what that even was. Okay, that was so weird. Oh. Oh, no. He has... No! And he got me with the sparrow. I knew that was the sparrow. I was trying my best to go and back up from that situation, but I just didn't have enough time. Dang, okay. Okay, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're halfway through the other game here. Oh, no. They're capturing B. Oh, got that double just barely. Okay, I'm gonna have to try my best to go cap B here. Oh, no. He's he's eating out something. Oh, dude. I think he was trying to go and throw a, a Molotov there, and that just completely backfired. Okay. We're gonna try to call in our Vito warship right now. Let's try to go and secure this victory here. So, I'm gonna try my best to go protect B. I know we're somewhat losing, so I'm hoping by going in holding down these two objectives, we can somewhat try to come back. But as long, because I know one guy on their team is doing a really good job with getting those higher end kill streaks. Oh gosh, dude, even the sensitivity of trying to go and move around with the beetle here, it feels so weird. Oh no, there's another 
sentry, enemy sentry gun somewhere. I have no idea where that might be. But I'm going to hold on to these two capture points as best as I can. Maybe try to rack up some more kills here. I don't know if my character is still on that B bomb site. If so, that is insane. But people going over here to see. Oh god, dude, the sensitivity is so weird. Okay, here we go. Oh, dude, how did I survive that? Okay. So, oh no, dude, that's going to be game. I thought we would have had a somewhat of a chance of going and winning. Like we somewhat do. But I have to go and capture. I have to capture A here. Oh no, there's a... Oh no. No, I don't think there's a chance. Yeah, dang. I thought I would have been able to go and help out the boys here with that beetle. But, ladies and gentlemen, that was game two. I, I think I was on at least like a 12 kill streak there. We were able to go and get a beetle, but... Yeah, man. Dang, what an awesome game. So even though I wasn't able to go and drop a nuke here with the controller, I was definitely really surprised, man. I was expecting there to be a whole lot of input lag when going and using the controller, even though it did feel a little bit weird. I would have to imagine after probably a few more games, maybe I would have adjusted well to going and using a controller, but I think from this point moving forward, I'm still just going to continue using the both of my thumbs to go and play COD Mobile here, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video nevertheless because i am gonna go and wrap everything up thank you guys oh so very much for tuning in and watching i really do appreciate it if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to go and give it a like as well as if you guys are new around here be sure to go and subscribe for future call of duty mobile videos as well as feel free to go and check out raid shadow legends link is down below in the description as well as in the pinned comment but without further ado my name is parker hopefully you guys are having a wonderful and fabulous day because i certainly am and i guess i'll talk to you guys in the next video